is up welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Brianna and we are headed to Iceland so welcome to the travel vlog I just got to Boston Logan so Bradley International where we are in Connecticut there really are no international flights so I had to fly out of Boston so it is about let me check my watch it's like I'm very I'm very bundled right now but it is 4:53. Corey and I went to a chick-fil-a beforehand just got to the airport checked in checked my bag I am checking a bag today because there was no way that I was gonna carry on and I also didn't want to carry on and check a bag I feel like that was just gonna be too much so I have my backpack got my LL Bean parka my big scarf my Doc Martin boots so my travel outfit oh sorry but the travel outfit of the day is very large and bulky just got my boarding pass so we need to go through TSA check right now I have TSA pre check so it's so nice I don't have to take off my shoes and do too many of like my layers which is good but if I didn't mention it's the day after Christmas so it is December 26th so it's gonna be cold in Iceland but I'm very excited so let's onward motion we go welcome to the travel vlog subscribe if you want to see an entire like Iceland travel vlog and let's go get through security okay made it through security it only took about so it's 5 15 but i had to go to the bathroom and taking off my jacket my scarf like every single layer was just like a uh, actual hot mess but that was really quick it probably took me about five maybe six ish minutes to do tsa pre-check so that was nice and then i just went and filled my water that's like the first thing that i'll do when i get to the airport is because i'm gonna try to drink if half if not almost the entire thing before i get on the flight because especially because iceland dry want to be as hydrated as possible all the deets so i'm gonna try to drink as much of this as I possibly can also i've never even chatted about this water bottle it's from hydroflow i actually found this at marshall's perfect little compact water bottle love that it has the little flip top and then if you want to hook it onto it that's what i should have brought like a carabiner hook to actually put this onto my bag but got that we're through security so first things first when i am traveling internationally always fill up my reusable water bottle or i buy a water because i just ate like a early dinner late lunch however you want to call it i am not starving right the second so what i'm going to do is just wait a little bit to get some snacks we'll do that a little bit later on but wanted to do a what is in my like personal bag when i travel especially internationally i don't have much in here i can also share what's in my like actual backpack but we'll do i'm going to take everything out so then i can just re throw it back in i'm just like dumping my life on the counter in the airport but it is what it is it'll help me reorganize better anyway okay First and foremost, Touchland hand sanitizer. Can't live without my Touchland. Next is chapstick. I always like to travel with two, so I have the Blistex medicated lip balm because it's a little bit thicker and I just feel like it's nicer for my eczema. And then second is the Summer Fridays lip butter balm, so I always bring those. Next is Shea Moisture hand lotion. My hands get super dry, especially from my eczema, so I always make sure to have that on me. Birth control, so I always need to make sure I have that chewing gum because i always chew gum when the flight takes off so that my ears don't pop as quickly and it doesn't hurt as much i always carry around a pen you never know what you might need it for i forgot that i didn't write my like mom's address on my carry like not my carry-on but on my check bag for this trip like on the luggage tag so i'm glad i had this because i wrote that in line next is you know icelandia i have my gloves with me like ready to go so that the minute that i land i can just throw them on if my hands are pretty cold and then next thank god i have this because i don't have a hair tie but a claw clip so i always just throw this on my bag or if i just like clip it onto the bag i was profusely sweating when i got out of the bathroom trying to like wrap my unwrap my winter coat my scarf like i've got two layers on underneath this patagonia so like she is layered up so i always like to have a claw clip or some sort of hair tie next my sunglasses i have both pairs in here this is like my cheap pair these are my nice ray-ban ones so i just like to keep both in the bag that way i don't lose them next is my little card holder for my wallet so i always have in here like just some cash if i need it and then my license and then my credit card debit card so always a card holder when i travel smaller more compact uh next is my travel wallet so this is different so this actually has my vaccine card um my insurance just like any like document these are like tube passes for london that's not where i'm going but i just have them in here so that i don't ever lose them and then last but not least my passport and my boarding pass so normally they'll make you take your passport out of the case but i like to make sure that i always have two floral like things with me because i feel like it helps me remember actually where they are and what i'm looking for so that's what i keep in my bag boarding pass they printed it for me because i had to check a bag today but i do have it on my phone in case i need it there and then the other thing i'll share 
right now is just because we're sitting here, but I always carry on my like electronics and whatnot. So I've got my work computer, my personal computer and all that stuff. But there is one thing that I have started doing in the last probably like two-ish flights, even my domestic and international. I call this my like in-flight bag and I think this is the smartest thing I've ever done. I don't need everything in the bag and I always find that I'm digging in multiple different pockets or storage things looking for stuff so instead I have my in-flight bag so I'll share with you what I keep in my in-flight bag these are things that I need while we are up in the air so that I don't actually have to the only thing I take out of the backpack is this and my laptop and I'm good to go so the things that I keep in here is always a spare camera battery fully charged in case the one I'm currently vlogging on dies next are my little airpods sometimes I like to have my little ones around with me it's a little bit easier I'll probably end up leaving these in my actual bagu bag when we're traveling around Iceland so if we're on the bus I can pop my airpods in if I need next is my airfly. I can have this link down below I bought it on Amazon. It actually might need to charge. So maybe I'll actually plug it. In. Oh It's not my airfly. This is actually even better I'll still link the airfly down below. These are actually I ended up buying these because I feel like I travel so much These are the in jack headphones from Apple So it has like obviously earbuds and then this and then this is just a regular like USB charger I'm actually glad that I put this in here without the air. Do I have the airfly in here? No. Oh, and then I have this as well so that if I wanted to actually this put it. General boarding call for all customers. And then I have this. I must have just bought this when I had the earbuds, but it's the one that goes like into the jack and then the bottom is the charger so that I could plug these into my phones if I want. So I actually remember this. I used to put this in a separate little travel baggie. I don't open these unless I'm traveling. I actually remember now. I haven't been international in a little while where I would need them, but I always do this because on the airplane, they don't have the speed chargers anymore. So I always just have one regular charger in case I need it considering I travel with my charging pad that can charge my phone, AirPods, and my Apple Watch all at night. So it's one less thing to worry about. So I keep this in here, totally forgot. I thought it was AirFly. I'm actually happy I was thinking about these headphones in the car and was like, oh, those are the ones I should have brought looks like I did bring them so I've got that next is my Kindle because I always love to have my Kindle it's fully charged ready to go so I'll pick a new book because I actually haven't picked up my Kindle in a while so I keep that out and then if you know you know the content I've got my hard drive and my adapter so that I can edit export input everything that I need right on the plane because I'm constantly editing on my laptop and then last but not least is I always bring this little coin purse because especially when I go to Europe and I have the euro the doll there's dollar and two dollars like one euro two euro that are coins so you think that they're just spare change like in the US but they're not try to go through them faster so anytime I take out cash I always put my currency from the country I'm going to into this little change purse so I know that I have to spend it and spend through it because if I'm not going back for a while or ever I don't want to come home with much money so this is my little in-flight bag comment down below if you do something similar I love an in-flight bag I think it is amazing I think it's great I think it's probably one of the smartest things I've ever like started adapting but with that being said it is five I have at 23 I want to edit for the next about 45 minutes to an hour this vlog and then another vlog that needs to go up and go live I'll actually probably make a vlog live right now while I'm sitting here because I have my like photos on my camera that I can export I need to clear this memory card too because it's like at full capacity um, I also have my travel ring with me because I didn't want to bring my real one and yeah that's about it so we're just gonna hang for the next little bit of time and we will get some snacks and whatnot together but looking forward to going to iceland for sure okay i look a hot mess and i'm gonna tell you why it is 7:08. our plane starts boarding in two minutes i just went to get my snacks and i was gonna take you along in there but the reality is that traveling to iceland in a scarf and a winter puffer and a heavy backpack and a bag without another person is so difficult. Like if Corey was with me or a friend was with me, I'd be like, oh, can you watch my stuff while I go for my water, go pee and, you know, grab us a snack or something. Can't do that, gotta lug my stuff around everywhere in the airport. So I threw my hair up in like a ponytail claw clip, which, you know, the vibes. The vibes are, we're vibing. We're vibing the best that we can. But either way, I just filled up my water for the last time. I drank almost all of it, probably almost down to the bottom. And then I picked up smart food and I was gonna think oh skittles for the plane one tip I have for international travel not necessarily domestic like when Corey and I go to Orlando or Visit my dad you can kind of get food and snacks that you're used to anywhere But one thing for international travel is I always try to pick one snack that has a vacuum seal or like a slide seal And the reason why is because it means that I can actually take it with me And I'm not worried about like rolling it up and things falling out of the bag So that would be one of my international like travel snack tips like if you're in the airport and you're buying something buy something that will reseal it 
itself. That way you can actually travel around with it. So I got Skittles and Smart Food. The Skittles are resealable. The Smart Food's not because I actually did bring granola bars, trail mix, and you guys are gonna laugh when we unpack tomorrow, like today, tomorrow, because I brought in like a half a bag, almost a full bag of the like Frito, like knockoff corn dippers from Trader Joe's. Cause I like a salty, salty snack. I'm a salty snack kind of gal. So either way, we need to board our flight. So I'm gonna walk over there. I've got my bagu bag under here and I've got my backpack. My plan is to get on the plane and situate myself so that I can take my backpack off, put it under the seat, take my coat off and put it above me and then just sit with my bag on my lap because it's got all my stuff with me. So that's the plan. Fingers crossed that they don't make any comments about like my coat going in the overhead because I don't, really don't know what else I would do. But we're going to keep the travel vlog going for the m most part of tomorrow as well when we land in Iceland. I land in Iceland at 6.15 a.m. So the flight leaves out of Boston at 8 and my flight lands at 6.15. It's about a 5 hour and 15 minute flight i'm pretty full still from chipotle not chipotle chick-fil-a so maybe i'll have like a fingers crossed they have like a little food or something because normally i'll eat like the dessert and the bread and the salad but i'm like not an eat on airplane kind of gal i don't know i just don't love meals on an airplane so i wanted to eat beforehand but let's go board our flight i've got an aisle seat too because you know with the bathroom girls gotta be able to get up and go so with that let's go to iceland okay everyone we have made it to iceland let me do a quick Check my phone, sorry, you're gonna have to look at my scarf for a hot second. It is six, what does it say? I'm like trying, six, 17 in the morning. So it is very early. The flight was like four and a half hours, five hours. So it was a little bit faster, I think, than anticipated. Let me tell you, that was such an awkward flight because you can't really fall asleep and you're not tired. And I had like the worst person sitting next to me on the flight. Must have been their first time ever on an aircraft. But nonetheless, we've made it to Iceland, so I need to go check my bag. Flight was good, I enjoyed flying Iceland Air. We didn't do any meal service though, and I'm assuming that's because it was only like four and a half, five hour flight, but it still feels weird because it's pitch black outside. Like I'll vlog us going to the hotel, but it is so dark out. I think there's only like four, five-ish hours of daylight. I'm also whispering, because like I said, it's six in the morning. So it's a very, very quiet, but I need to go pick up my bag but i thought i would just vlog a little bit as i got off the plane and there's still some cute like little christmas lights and christmas decor in the airport so let's go to baggage claim and then head to the hotel and fingers crossed our room is ready so that i can ko just a little bit all right so we have made it into the hotel it is pitch black and i've got the lights on to try to do like a little bit of a room tour for you guys so let me show you our room it is 7 40 we got early check-in which is perfect we don't have to meet for work or anything until around i think it was 5 30 so we've got like 12 hours i'm definitely going to sleep a little bit because i feel like i got a little bit of a scratchy throat from the plane so i'd like to sleep a little bit maybe just like lay down rest my eyes even if it's just like cat nap but let's Let's do a room tour then i'll unpack and then i'm definitely gonna lay down maybe throw on some netflix or the office and just like fall asleep for a few hours so here is the room you can probably see my shadow but first we're gonna start here to the left with the bathroom so you've got a nice little toilet some toilet paper little flusher and then here's the shower really nice rainfall head as well and I also feel like this is flat it's got a little bit of a lip but I actually kind of really like that and then we've got some nice towels I can link the hotel that we are staying at down below it's really beautiful I think it's a four star um oh my tune's off sorry and then if you go out here you've got a nice little hook which is perfect for like scarf and hat and or not hat but like scarf and big big jacket and then the ground is carpet which is nice and then out here is the sink so you've got your sink the hair dryer which is perfect because i need that hello i look crust crusted and dusted does it have a light too i think it does oh whoa how are you really crusted and dusted but then you have these nice little face cloths i actually love having these because i use them at home too and then we've got a body lotion and a hand soap and then we've got a full length mirror here which is nice for some outfits of the day i've got my backpack and my bag that i need to undo and then here is i already was like throwing stuff on the bed but here is the little room so they have a little coffee and tea a nice little chair these are like double curtain for like outside which is so beautiful and then we've got a big nice little tv here 
light fixture and then you turn and you've got a nice big queen size bed which is really good and then this is really the only like storage dresser area that they have so I'm probably gonna hang up a lot of my sweaters fold a lot of my shirts and whatnot and then I'll probably there's a lot of space in here and there's also in this little corner here I think I saw let me just double check yeah there's a thing to put my luggage up so what I might actually do is move this chair to the other side and prop my luggage up and then I'll show you guys because it's so beautiful and I'll like I said I told you guys it was pitch black so it's 7 45 8 o'clock in the morning here's my view from my room little Icelandia it's super snowy it snowed yesterday but yeah little view it's beautiful the snow is definitely out to play but that's about it. But like I said, I am pretty wiped and beat and tired and almost feeling like slightly run down. Like I think just a little bit in your throat, like from drive, like being in the plane and whatnot, I always feel like I get a scratchy throat. So I'm going to stop chatting with you guys and I'll chat with you a little bit later. But I'm going to unpack a little bit, rest, lay down, close my eyes and yeah, we'll catch up in a little bit. Okay, I've got on a new get up. I've got my bathing suit on under here because we are going to the spa. But also, good morning. I just woke up. It's about 1.30. I was in and out for like 4 or 5 five-ish hours like awake asleep awake asleep they ended up dropping off two bathrobes in these cute little slippers and then they also dropped off if you can see it that little cake over there so we are now headed off to the spa it looks so unbelievably beautiful this hotel included in our package I think it was like 25 Icelandic dollars whatever their currency is for the length of your entire stay the spa is quite literally gorgeous. So let's go to the spa. I've got my Kindle, my phone, I've got my room key. I'm gonna fill up my water and we're just gonna go sit outside. They have like a geothermal outdoor hot tub. So that is stop number one. Like look at how beautiful this is. And that is where we are gonna be heading right out there. So, as you can see, it's a little bit smoky, like from the heat, like the steam. This is so, like, unbelievably gorgeous and beautiful. I feel, I'm just gonna put you guys a little bit down so I can fix my hair really quick. I just feel so unbelievably lucky when I get to do things like this with work. Like, I, I forget how lucky that I am and I'm so unbelievably grateful for opportunities like this. Who else can be in Iceland for New Year's in this like beautiful spa after traveling for hours. Also my hair, I'm trying to keep it straight, but after this, it's not gonna work. But like, it's just so unbelievably beautiful and I'm just so happy. It's so beautiful here. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys for coming along on the Iceland adventures. My goal is to do an entire Iceland travel vlog starting tomorrow through New Year's Day. So very excited for that. But um, yeah, we're enjoying the day. I think I might go in and grab my Kindle and maybe I'll come back out. I realize that there's hooks. Like, you're, I think what you're supposed to do is wear your bathrobe outside. However, I assume that you had to just come outside with your like bathing suit on. But now that I'm seeing it, I think you actually need to bring your bathrobe. There's a hook for it. That way you don't walk through the spot like soaking wet. But you live and you learn. Okay, I am bundled up. I'm freshly showered. Got back from the spa around, I think it was what time? Uh, I think 420, 420-ish. So I ended up unpacking everything. So like all this here, I'll even turn and show you. Everything is just like unpacked, just basically just unzipped in the packing cubes. And then I've got my clothes up there. And now we are ready to go downstairs. We are walking to dinner tonight. I don't exactly know how far it is, but I wanted to like layer up and be warm. So quick little OOTD outfit of the, well, OOTN outfit of the night. My hat is from Madewell. This sweater is H&M. And then I have the white Abercrombie like thicker flannel that I was or like thermal that I wore on the plane and then I have two pairs of leggings on the base layer are the Unitech Unitech Uniqlo heat tech leggings and then the top pair 
are from Amazon. These are also nice because especially for travel, like if I need to, just quickly slip my phone in there versus fighting for it, I can. And then I've got on some black socks and then my Doc Martens. So I don't think I'm gonna take my scarf tonight, but I am gonna take my winter LL Bean puffer. So let's head to dinner. It's been a lovely day. I wanted to just like stay at the spa the entire day because it was so nice. I do have a little bit of a scratchy throat, so I'm gonna try not to be over chatty at dinner and drink a lot of water, maybe get a tea or something because I just like don't want to get sick, but I feel it. I've got a scratchy throat, so I'm gonna take as many precautions. Maybe we can stop at like a pharmacy and get some vitamin C or something. But with that, let's head to dinner. <laughs> friends we are back from dinner it is 9 22 and I am pretty beat honestly I feel pretty tired and I do think unfortunately that I've caught some sort of little bug I don't exactly know what it is all I know is is that I've got a scratchy throat like I just had right around Thanksgiving and I have like a little bit of like a stuffy nose fingers crossed this is just like a you're run down it's cold and you need to be like feeling better so I'm definitely gonna be going to bed early we have to wake up tomorrow or be downstairs in the lobby at 5 o'clock in the morning so 5 a.m. because it's about 45 minutes to the airport and we have to make sure that we get the rest of our group early at the airport tomorrow so I'm probably gonna fall asleep here in the next 40 minutes I'll probably call Corey say good night maybe watch a little bit of YouTube maybe read but definitely want to be eyes closed by 10 o'clock because we have to be up I'll have to get up at honestly Probably 4.15, 4.30. Even that, I don't even need that much time because I'm not really doing makeup. I don't need to do my hair. I just need to do, like, face wash, brush teeth, and, like, out the door. It's really easy when I feel like you're traveling internationally, especially in this cold weather because you're just, like, trying to stay warm. Also, sorry, the camera's, like, being a little bit funny. But I brought Winston with me on this trip. I like to have a little, like, piece of home. I feel like it makes me just feel pretty comforted. But that is the Iceland or traveling to Iceland travel vlog. So I'm gonna pick up another vlog tomorrow to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it'll be four days in Iceland. I don't know how much chatting I'll do. Probably a lot of chatting at the end of the night because we're gonna be around a lot of people during the day, but I still wanna take you guys along and do some fun B-roll. So it might be a short little baby vlog, but it'll be a vlog nonetheless. But with that, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one.